Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Paula and I live a keto lifestyle. And today I am doing a what I eat in a day vlog. Be showing you what I eat throughout the day today on a keto diet, staying under 20 total carbs a day and intermittent fasting. I don't start eating till around 11 or 12 and then I stop eating around six and then I fast all of the time in between. So I'll be showing you my meals, my drinks, my snacks, anything that I have throughout the day to day. I don't grab anything to eat off camera. If I do, I will tell you. This camera is a little weird today with the sun coming in. I'm also gonna be showing you, I guess you could call it a meal prep video today. Tomorrow, I am going over in the morning to my son's house and I am going to be staying the weekend with my three grandsons. I am gonna be staying one night, going Saturday morning and coming back Sunday night at their house. They're so excited about having me come and sleep at their house. Um, I decided instead of having them come here for the weekend to go there, they have a big swimming pool and they live on some farmland. They have acreage and I just thought it would be fun to spend the weekend with them playing at their house. My oldest grandson has been asking me to stay the night with him sometime anyways. So I decided that I'll go over there and watch them. My son and daughter-in-law are going away for the weekend and Ed is going to be over there too. He's not going to be staying the night because of Sapphira over here and he has to come back home and let her out and stuff. He will be there during the day helping me out in that. Today I'm going to be prepping some meals for myself and for Ed while he's there on things that we can eat while we're there and I just have to plan ahead. I've been talking a lot about planning, being prepared, planning ahead of time on this way of eating uh, in my coaching programs over on Patreon and also in my one-on-one -on -one coaching. For those of you who may not know, I am a keto health coach and I do one-on-one -on -one coaching and I do have some spots opening up. I have, I'm wrapping up a six week program with a couple of my clients and I'm, I have some spots that are open. You can go over my website, lowcarbrevelation.com. I have all my coaching options over there so you can go and check that out. But that's one of the things I've been stressing in my coaching is to just plan ahead, be prepared, when things are coming up and it really helps to have meal prepped items in the refrigerator and all of that. So I am going to be prepped for this weekend. The main reason why I am prepping my meals and taking them with me is because uh, three boys under the age of seven, they're very active and it's a very, very busy time. So I just want to be able to have some things ready when it's time for us to eat that we can just either they're already pre-cooked and throw them in the microwave and warm them up or have just some thawed meats ready to go. They do have a Blackstone griddle. So me and Ed have already talked about doing smash burgers one day. The boys like that too. So it's something that we can all eat. Hey, I'm going to make a list, make sure I have all of my ingredients, all of my foods that I need for the weekend. It's only two days. It's not going to be a whole lot, but I just want to be prepared and I wanna be able to have a good time with them and not have to worry about scrounging around looking for something to eat. So I'm gonna have all that ready today. I have my coffee right now. It is early, I just left for work and I'm gonna sit here and make my list, plan it out, and then I am going to go into the kitchen in a little bit. And when I do that, I'll be sure to take you along. So I'll see you then. I forgot to mention when I filmed my first clip that I was going to go to the gym before I started uh, doing my meal prep. And I am at the gym right now, getting ready to go in and do a workout. So I just wanted to mention that. And I want to encourage you, if you haven't been working out, to get out and work out. And your body will thank you for it. I'm going to go in and do a workout. And then I'm going to go to the store pick up some ingredients for a recipe that I'm doing, uh, that I'm going to be making for dinner tonight. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you later. Before I went to the gym, I only had about this much water. So I'm getting ready to hydrate. I have 30 ounces of water here and I am mixing in my electrolytes. I'll be mixing up the orange salt by Element. It is a very good flavor. I pretty much like all of the flavors that Element offers. The spicy ones I like to use in my foods. I don't put them in my water. I use them in marinades. 
I also will put them in guacamole and make a really spicy guacamole. And the chocolate salt I like to use in my coffee, my hot coffee and in my iced coffee as a treat. But I'm having the orange salt today. You guys know me, I stick to pretty much a pretty clean keto diet and element. You don't have to worry about the ingredients. They're very clean. They are sweetened with stevia. You can also have an unflavored version if you don't want the stevia. And they have the science back ratio that makes it a perfect electrolyte drink mix when you need to replace your electrolytes. Right now, Element has a special offer. If you go to the link that is right here on my screen, drinkelement.com forward slash low carb revelation. That is D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T.com forward slash low carb revelation. Click on that link. You will be taken over to Element's website. Purchase anything on the website and Element will send you a free sample pack like this one in your order so that you can try eight different flavors of Element or you can give this to a friend so that they can try them as well. These are also great to throw in your briefcase or your bag or your car. I keep a few packets of these in my car, in the little glove box of my car. So in case I forget to grab them when I leave the house, I have some already in my car. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat my eggs. Thank you Element for sponsoring this video. I wanted to show you guys something. I have a little bit of a mess going on right now because I'm prepping foods and washing dishes and just getting lots of things ready to go. And so I have a lot of stuff out on my counters. Well, I decided I was gonna take some French eggs with me. They're easy to warm up, they're easy to eat. I usually eat two French eggs for breakfast if I have French eggs. And all I have is this muffin tin right here with six spaces and they're jumbo, jumbo size. So I decided I've never done this before, but I decided to put two eggs into each cup and I'm gonna have double French eggs. And that way all I have to do is eat one of these and I'll be getting two eggs. And so just thought I would show you that before I put the cheese on. I have the cheese that I shredded right here. I'm getting ready to put that on, but that one right there kind of looks like an alien. So <laughs> anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get the cheese on these and I'm going to put some bacon crumbles on top and I'm going to put them in the oven and that will take care of breakfast for both mornings. I'll update for you. I'm making some savory chaffles, some to take with me and some for our dinner for tonight. I'll show you what that is in just a little while. That is a really nice size. I think that'll be a great meal for breakfast and very filling. So I have six of those cooling off. I'm going to get those into a container. And I'm going to finish frying these patties. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I'm letting all this stuff cool before I put them into the containers that I'm going to be transporting them in. So I just wanted to show you before I pack them up. I have six double French eggs here all ready to go. I have some sausage patties that I fried up. I have some chaffles here. Go over what I have here. This might look like a lot of food, but this is for me and Ed, and my grandsons will be eating with us too. So I know for sure they're gonna be eating smash burgers with us. So I have a couple of pounds of hamburger here plus a half a pound here that I had already had opened. So this is gonna be for smash burgers, and I have some pickles and onion, and then I have some mustard and ketchup and some cheese for the top of the burgers. And I have some bread cheese from Aldi that we can throw on the griddle as well. So this will be for our dinner for Saturday night. I have breakfast here for Saturday morning. This is my French eggs. I like to wrap my foods in parchment paper when I put them in plastic bags. I just like to do that. And so I have my sausage patties here and I have my chaffles here. I have some jalapeno cheddar dogs here. The kids are gonna have hot dogs on one of the dinners. So I thought on Sunday evening we could have these. Me and Ed could uh, griddle these up with their hot dogs. And then I also have these Italian meatballs. This recipe for these are over on my website and they are left over from dinner from the other day. So I just thought that I would take them with us in case we needed a little something extra. I do have my element here. And then I have porking good salted butter pork rinds. I have two bags here because my grandsons like to eat these too. And then I have a bag of beef sticks that I'm gonna be taking. And that is probably gonna be more than enough food for us over the weekend. I wanted to show you these chicken nuggets that I made for my grandsons. I'm gonna see if they like them. I made this recipe over in my Patreon group, if you're not a part of that group. 
The link is down in the description under this video. It's also over on my website, lowcarbrevelation.com. You can go and join and get exclusive recipes. And so these I made for that group the other day. This is made, these are made out of ground chicken. I made them chicken nuggets before out of like chicken tenderloins and they don't like that. They like the more um, processed chicken nuggets. So these are actually, when you bite into these, they are ground chicken. And so uh, I used my pork rind breading for the outside of it. I have the recipe for that over on my website. And so I am going to package these up and take them over there. And they have a Z-Star grill as well. So when they want some, all I gotta do is throw them into the Z-Star and they have really good, clean ingredient chicken nuggets. So now I'm gonna get to what we're having for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna get all this cleaned up and I will get to this new recipe. So I'm getting ready to make dinner and I'm gonna make a sandwich. And this sandwich I used to make quite a bit before keto. I have not made this sandwich since I have been keto. I haven't made a keto version of this. I did get this idea for this sandwich from a restaurant up in Northern Michigan. It is in Tawas, Michigan, and it is a little restaurant called Augie's on the Bay. And we used to go there quite a bit, and I would always get the Turkey Reuben sandwich. Um, it was a really great sandwich, obviously, if I got it every time I went there. So what this sandwich consisted of was turkey, Swiss cheese, and then instead of sauerkraut, they used coleslaw with Russian dressing or Thousand Island dressing. They grilled it together like a grilled cheese on pumpernickel rye swirly bread, and it was real good. So like I said, I used to, before keto, I used to make this sandwich here at home. I used to buy that swirled bread and I would just make it here myself. And I would buy Thousand Island dressing and I would use deli meat, turkey and Swiss cheese and I would make it all together in a sandwich. Today, I have a couple of changes I'm going to make to make it keto friendly. I bought a brand, I read a bunch of ingredients on a bunch of turkey. Even at the deli counter where you go and they slice the turkey for you, there are so many brands of deli meat that have seed oils in them. And so I went through the store today, I stood at the deli, I looked at the ingredients, I went to the um, place where they sell packaged lunch meats and I ended up finding a brand, I'm gonna grab it. Um, this is the brand that I've picked up today. It is True Story. And the ingredients on this is really clean. There's no oils in this one. And I will read to you what's in this. It has turkey breast, water, salt, vinegar, lemon juice, concentrate. And that's what, according to the ingredients, that's what's in this turkey. And I bought some Swiss cheese and I made my own Thousand Island dressing. I'm gonna put the recipe over on my website for my Thousand Island dressing, and I'll let you know when I try it um, how good it is. I actually just took a little taste of it when I made it, but I haven't really eaten it yet on a sandwich. Um, I also made chaffles to use as my sandwich bread. I made my savory chaffle that is over on my website as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get set up over here at the stove and show you how I'm going to put this sandwich together and then I'm gonna try it out. All right, so I have some butter heating up on this skillet. This is actually a crepe pan. I like the finish on this pan. It's really nice for making like grilled cheese in that. So that's why I'm using this. And I have my heat on about medium. And I am gonna start by warming up some of this turkey because the turkey on the sandwich that I used to get at the restaurant was always nice and warm. And so it's really good because the coleslaw is cold, the cheese is melted, it's just really good. So I'm gonna take a few slices of this turkey and I'm just gonna heat it through. It only takes two or three minutes just to heat it through. You're not really cooking it or anything, you're just heating it through. And I like cooking it in butter, just gives it a little bit of uh, added fat to it. So, I'm gonna transfer them 
over to this plate. All right, and then I have my chapel bread that I made earlier. I'm gonna take two pieces of that. And one sandwich is gonna be pretty filling because of all the protein. And these are made with eggs and some cheese and the turkey has the protein in it. And, you know, it's just gonna be a protein packed meal. So you're not gonna need much more than a sandwich. I'm gonna have some pickles on the side, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more butter here on the skillet. Turn the heat down a little bit. And I'm going to assemble this. I'm gonna get butter on both sides. My butter was cold and I like to put butter on both sides when I'm making a grilled cheese. These are great for making grilled cheese with. If you're missing grilled cheese. I love grilled cheese made with chaffles. All right, so get butter all over those. Now I'm gonna start assembling my sandwich. I'm gonna put one piece of Swiss cheese on here and woo, I'm going to put my turkey on here. All right. And then I'm gonna put another piece of cheese on top because you want the bread to stick together, get all gooey. All right. Now I'm just gonna grill this like a grilled cheese sandwich. I'm gonna wait till the cheese gets kind of melted on one side, flip it over and grill that other side. All right, so here is my Thousand Island dressing that I made today. It looks pretty good. So I have a bag of coleslaw here. I'm gonna just get out enough just to put on my sandwich. And I have a little bowl here that I'm gonna mix it in. Just gonna use my hands because this is for my sandwich. So I'm the only one eating it. I'm going to add some of this dressing to this. Mix it all in. It's a lot more than I thought. <laughs> I might not end up using all of this. There's my sandwich. I used to just lift this up and pull it apart at the center because the uh, the cheese is on both sides. So I used to just lift it up, pull it apart, put this coleslaw right in the middle like that. And see there, I'm not even using it all. And then I'm going to close this up and I'm gonna try it out. So I'm really excited about this. Look at that sandwich. Look at that, it looks so good. I am going to go ahead and give this a try. It's probably gonna be messy. Look at that, oh my goodness. Looks so good. Oh my goodness. That is so good. And the extra butter on the chaffles that I fried it in, it's so buttery, so good. The um, Thousand Island dressing is really good. I'm gonna go eat this sandwich and I'm going to enjoy every bite of it. I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, so that was delicious. Really, really enjoyed that sandwich. Now I'm having a root beer float. I have um, ice in here. I put two tablespoons of heavy cream. It looks like a lot more than that, but it's just all mixed in with the ice. And Zevia, look at, they have a new label, a new look. I got, uh... there you have it, dessert. <laughs> You want some? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. Yum. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. I'll see you. <laughs>
<laughs> have a great day and as always god bless um i got a stain in my shirt that's probably bacon grease <laughs> i am going to um why do i keep saying that i like it a lot <laughs> today uh um come on and okay <laughs> all right okay so all right so Okay, so, okay, so, um, so today,